Hello everybody and welcome to another Florida vlog. It's uh, kind of like day six I think now and it's half past five. We've been out to Magic Kingdom this morning which was super fun and if you've not watched that vlog already then jump back one and check out the fun morning we had. But for right now we are off to Icon Park which is down on International Drive. Somebody might be going on the Star Flyer. Waiting. We'll see, we'll see. I thought it was you. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have just have a look around and we're going to have some dinner at the Sugar Factory which looks lovely, the food looks great, the cocktails look even better and just have an explore around the area. I thought I'd have to go on the Sky Would you, Would. Would you actually? Yeah. So it should be a super fun evening, nice and chilled. Let's cool. go. You've had a little splash about this afternoon, haven't you, sweet pea? Yeah, guess what we're going to? Yes. I'm going to give you a little time, then I'm going to tell you. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going then, Pacey? The candy shop. No, the candy <laughs> restaurant. Yeah. Which is we are. so famous because it has loads of unhealthy stuff, doesn't it? It does, And then yes. there's a giant, giant. Giant! 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 Giant, yeah. Candy store. Wow, hey! With all the candies in the world. We were actually staying in a villa on this trip on Winter Palms Resort and when we come out to the parks and anywhere really we come down the 192 which is a road like a strip with so many restaurants and shops and things so there's like IHOP, Ponderosa, McDonald's, Cracker Barrel, do you know how Wendy's. Do you know where there's so much? Nod's huge, cones are huge. Everything's huge. Restaurant mm. numbers are huge. Everything is huge, yeah. We're next to the we've sheriff. got the um we are next to the sheriff. We've got the big mermaid shop and the wizard shop and like the bargain shops for like knick-knacky bits. We bought this the other day. An alligator scratching claw. <laughs> you can't leave Florida I, without I like it. it. You like it a lot, don't you? It's probably one of your favourite things we've bought. We didn't even buy the beast, they're for free. I mean they're not like <laughs> Icon Park, we just got parked up. There's so many restaurants and things down here. It's a really nice place to come. Got our first close up view of the Star Flyer, which Rob isn't quite so confident about now, <laughs> aren't you? It's horrible. I'll be all right. It's horrid. I don't know if you've seen um, Get Binky's vlog where Del goes up there and he's screaming, but I'll link it below because it's the funniest thing. He's my friend, so he won't mind me sharing it, but it's so, so funny. Um, also, in our 2019 vlog series, Pacey's dad went up there. I don't just bring all the blokes to the icon, <laughs> but he did it. Rob's gonna go up. Pacey, are you going up? going up? Can you hear him screaming already? Oh my goodness. Really, Rob? Oh goodness. That is horrendous. Horrendous. There's also a massive slingshot and that big drop tower over there as well which looks like a disco candle not one of these things would you catch me on absolutely not maybe you can do all of them babe yeah great <laughs> so he's heading in to get a ticket it's only 11 pound 27 you couldn't pay me a million bucks to get up there 450 foot up to 60 miles an hour absolutely not Pacey's interested in how tall you have to be to ride and surprisingly you only need to be 44 inches which is the same oh my gosh you're not going on there no way you would be allowed no way on earth would I let you up there that's insane I'm allowed. no I'm allowed. he's got his ticket but we've missed this one just gives him time to get his um suspense up lordy you ready for it? <laughs> it's like, I love how casual it is. Like, it's not 
a big deal. Like they should be playing like shark music or something for the suspense. And I can't believe the monkey nuts wants to go on it. We know, darling, but there's no way I'm letting you on there. He's in. Up he goes. Oh, goodness. Did you like it? What the? <laughs> Are you crying? Are you crying? Oh, was it good? Could you see anything? Disney? No. Universal. Okay, what's next? Slingshot or drop tower? Basically, <laughs> just encouraging him to do things. You have to do it, you promised us. <laughs> That'll be you one day, my little daredevil. And Rob told and Sean said I could go on. No. You enjoyed that, I didn't loved it. you? I loved it. That's so mad to me, literally. I'm too much of a scaredy to do anything like that. But you just said, like, when it twizzles nearly. Yeah, it was really windy up the top, and then it feels like it's about you to You feel twizzle. like you're quivering? Are you quivering? No. Are you I'm, quivering? I'm buzzing. <laughs> now we're heading to Sugar Factory for some dinner, and then we're going to explore around this area a bit more. It's nice and quiet here, which makes a change from the last few days. Outback Steakhouse, Shake Shack, Sloppy Joe's. Ooh, Build-A-Bear Workshop. We don't even have those at home anymore. That's so cool. The Gordon Ramsay Fish and Chip Place is here as well. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, Uncle Julio's. Oh goodness, little train that Pacey's gonna wanna go on. There's Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. It's a little oh, taste of home. Jim yeah, Tim and Jim went there when it first opened, didn't they? And then we have the tin roof and right next door is Sugar Factory where we're heading, which looks lovely. Oh goodness, Paisley, look at all the candy. This is so cool. This is nice. So cool. Wow, these ice creams look amazing. Tiramisu, maple roasted pecan. Wow. Do you like the strawberry one, do you, darling? Look at the whirly pop one. Raspberry sorbet. We're gonna have dinner first, then we'll see, okay? Okay. They have all their own like merchandise, like teas and coffees. I like the rubber ducky, he's very cool. And then they even have towels and like beach stuff. Ooh, nerds, they have nerds here. And pears. Percy hasn't seen this bit yet, so we'll keep her out of this corner. I want some pears. Oh gosh. <laughs> Which one? We'll get it after dinner, but you can have one, okay? Look, there's Poppy. Ariel. I literally love this. This is so me. Oh, look at the cocktails. So I'm just having a look through the menu here and the pricing is quite standard. So like $18 for a club sandwich, around the $20 to $25 mark for burgers, uh, chicken and waffle, yum. That's $29. And then they do pastas as well. And then milkshakes and like sundaes and loads of desserts too. So quite reasonably priced I'd say, especially in comparison to the on-site Disney restaurants. So this is the bit I'm most interested in. These lovely, lovely cocktails. And look how many they are. But yeah, Paisley's doing some napkin folding, which is her. <laughs> you did. But yeah, loads and loads of lovely cocktails. They're like designed and tasted by celebrities. So we've got some here by Kendall Jenner. There's some by Sister Sen, Snoop Dogg, Nick Cannon, Bruno Mars, The Rock, Pitbull. Loads. I'm not going to get one of these huge ones because they're $39, which is quite eye watering. I'm going to get a cotton candy cosmopolitan for $17. It's wild in here. They've just bought out like a birthday candle sparkler, and the music is so loud. Casey's face just then when they started playing Barbie Girl, she went, <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> 
So I went for the Bubba Bubba Gum cocktail, which looks nice, and it's got like a strip of bubble gum along the top. I was going to go for the cotton candy um, Cosmo, but they'd sold out. So I went with the grilled chicken sandwich, which looks really nice. That bread looks yummy. Chips are delish. Paisley has tenders and fries. My mum had the um, turkey club, and Rob has, uh, what's in your bag, babe? That is a big boy of oh, shrimp. Shrimp. And Sean has the same. Yummy! That's how long this chip was that one. Was it really? Yeah. That's the longest chip in the world. So, so many um, birthday like fireworks candles have come out. Not Paisley wants one, but it's not a birthday, obviously. So I've said no. And bless her, she's made like six little chips in her ketchup. Is that your birthday cake? <laughs> I'm being too mind to ask them to do it, but I don't think she'd actually like it once they all come and sang around us. We've done it. <laughs> We've actually done it. So we'll be round in a minute. <laughs> Shocked, bless her heart, but I think every child in there probably had one of those, so we had to do it. Like, all the little kids near us had one come to a table, and she was doing that with the French fries. So I was like, okay, let's go for it. I think it was $15. They had loads of songs to choose from. They even had Machine Gun Kelly, so kind of wanted one for me. It's like, oh, first, I've just got me one. <laughs> we're just doing some um, Shabba now at this little station, and then we're going out. Side. I think the others are going to go on the eye. I'm not. I don't. You are, aren't you? You're going to go with Nanny, Sean, and Rob. I'm scared of heights, and that's not for me. So I'm just going to like walk around and explore. But this was so fun in here. I've literally loved it. It's been like the funnest meal. What's it? Oh, have you filled it up? Put the lid on them. Let's go pay. This is the outside of the sugar factory, and it's so cute. That's literally my perfect restaurant. That was such a fun time. Look at the lights on the wheel. That looks awesome. It doesn't look like it's moving very fast. Oh, it is moving. Just, it is moving. Okay, I guess we're going over here. Sea Life and Madame Two Swords are also here. They're not open during the evening as far as I'm aware, but the wheel is, so yeah. So we've just come in the um, Icon building. There's Madame Two Swords like an arcade, the wheel entrance, a 7D dark ride, which sounds quite cool. and looks a bit scary on those videos. Some tacos, Sea Life Center, a bar. There's lots in here. We got this, um, the wheel free with our Ocean Holidays booking. So I'm gonna try and utilize it now. Bye family. I'm far too chicken to go on the wheel. I don't like heights. Have fun guys. So the others have just gone up. Oh my goodness. There's someone going up on the slingshot. You could just hear sick of I'm going to go around and have a look. I'm just going to explore. Oh my good lord. That is so high. I'm going to go right over. But yeah, just having a wander, a little look around. Gave my ticket to somebody else, which made them very happy. I saved them a few dollars. Don't actually know how much the wheel is, so I should probably look that up and insert it down here on the screen. But it was like $34 for a wheel package, which is like photos and you're going the wheel. Probably about 20 is going to be my guess. $20. We'll see. What do we have here? Dinner and a show. Tapa Toro. Looks like Spanish. Flamenco dancing, which looks quite cool. It's really good down here. If you are here in Orlando or like especially in the International Drive area, it's definitely worth coming over to Icon Park to have a little bit of an explore because this is really cool. You could definitely spend an evening here having dinner and like doing some experiences it's really nice actually it's so quiet too like not many people around the real parrots hi guys you look nice look at you hello you cutie pie what an awesome view of the wheel this is so cool. I'm literally having a time in my life. Guys, wait till I sit down and I tell you what I've just done. I'm so happy right now. Guys, I held parrots. I got to hold these two guys and have a picture with them. I've just been conned. 
from half an inch of my life but I'm so happy because look at them and I felt their little like claws on my hands literally I was holding them and one of them gave me a kiss and they were like squawking in my ear that's oh wait till I show the guys I'm so happy <laughs> So Pacey's come off the wheel and she wanted to turn to hold the parrot. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? He won't hurt you, he's a friend. So Pacey got a little balloon dog, a little white one that walks along and also a unicorn balloon creature. And also we went back to the parrots, didn't we? <laughs> and we got Paisley a parrot picture as well which I'll show you when we get back to the villa but the kind lady let me have it for five dollars because it was two pictures one picture for 20 two pictures for 25 so I just came back and I said I was literally just here she let me get Paisley one for five pounds dollars as well which was nice we've had a great time blueberry did sit on your shoulder he did peck your hair he was cheeky that red one was a bit naughty, wasn't it? <laughs> so we've had a super fun night here at Icon Park. Certainly would recommend a visit. Just have a look round and a dinner if, if nothing else. But there are lots of fun experiences and things to do here. I've loved it. I loved it, especially the parrots. They were really, really nice. And um, dinner was good. Rob on the star flyer was fun. The guys went up on the wheel but said they could literally not see anything because it was too dark so lucky thing it was free really you can do the wheel probably do it during the day when you can actually see things they said they all they could make out was the convention center down international drive but they couldn't see disney they couldn't see universal if it was near nine o'clock they may have seen the magic kingdom and the epcot fireworks so i don't even know what the time is right now but we're gonna head to the supermarket probably the walmart on the 192 and then back to the villa to retire for the evening We've got an early morning tomorrow at Animal Kingdom. There's still a lot there we didn't get done, like the whole of Dino Land USA. We've got to go see the tigers. We've got to try and get on Navi River journey. We want to eat more food. <laughs> Don't know what, just everything really. Yeah, it's going to be super fun. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed something a bit different than the traditional theme park vlogs. I, I like watching vlogs about other things to do. So hopefully you do as well. See you real soon.